Hello. Um, this is a little bit different than the stuff I normally do uh, and upload onto YouTube, but I wanted to try this just to see if it helps kind of like improve my focus on the uh, speedrun projects that I want to do. Um, so on this uh, document, document, not really a document, you can see um, I have listed uh, a lot of a lot of speedruns, um, so I'm just going to talk about them individually, uh, the ones that I am uh, planning to focus on, and that I want to put um, more time into, I guess. Uh, so, or not, I don't really know exactly how to phrase it, but these are the projects that I First one, current ones, the ones that I'm trying to work on currently or I'm going to tackle very, very soon. Planned projects is stuff that I definitely have an interest or have done research into doing. Um, and then potential projects, which is stuff that where I'm not sure 100% if it would be um, a speed game I would want to exactly do. Uh, but, again, I'll get to those when we get down there, so. Starting off, um, we have, on the current list, uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Uh, I've been wanting to run this for a while, and I've actually started, um, on my, on s streaming, uh, doing, like, routing and stuff, coming up with, uh, ideas for overall movement. I haven't really worked on dungeon strategies yet. Um, there is a uh, full game run on New Game Plus uh, that exists that I'm going to, for the most part, like tweak. I'm going to copy a lot of the dungeon strategies and then modify them uh, based on what I think is better or what I prefer doing. Um, I want to focus on New Game for 3D Doc Game Heroes. Uh, because in general, I'm not a huge fan of New Game Plus speedruns. Um, but, uh, New Game is, like, kinda really difficult, <laughs> um, for this game. So, uh, we'll see. I, I really do want to do New Game and New Game Plus. Um, but if New Game ends up being too much of a pain, then I'll just focus on New Game Plus. Um. But yeah, I, I'm I'm working on this currently, uh, as you can you can even see the the text file for my route right here. Um, but yeah, that's one that I'm working on, uh, and I want to uh, keep keep doing and eventually get a full run out. Um, so the next one is Kuon. Uh, any percent? These are all uh, part of the my goal to speedrun a bunch of uh, from software games. Um, Kuon is survival horror uh, type game. I think it's one of their only few. It might be their only actually. Um, but this run is significantly shorter than a lot of other uh, from software speedruns. Um, so this is one I'm very interested in because I do like the idea of doing a not ridiculously long speedrun, kind of like in that like 30 to 40 minute range, although I think Kuon is a little bit shorter if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have the NTSCJ copy of Kuon. Um, I can't show it because I don't have a camera, but I have it right here in my hand. Um, so I would be doing runs on console for that. Uh, <laughs> um, I, d I would need to do a casual playthrough first, um, but I can easily get that going, because I just need to get a burnt disc and then I can play on console, or if it really comes down to it, I can play on emulator. I have the stuff I would need to do that. Um, but yeah, this is more of a, 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 a current project, because I do want to start playing Kuon soon, and the fact that it's a shorter run, um, interests me a lot. So, this is coming up soon, hopefully. 
Um, then we're going to move on to planned projects. This is stuff that I want to do uh, at some point, but... And I'm going to do at some point. It's just, like, a matter of, like, when exactly. Uh, so, Magatama, any percent. Um, uh, Magatama is a original Xbox game released only in Japan. It's kind of like an action hack and slash uh, type game. Um, I have a copy of the game, and I have a 360. I just need controllers. Um, and then I'm gonna I have to test to make sure the 360 works. But the Maga Magatama is actually backwards compatible on uh, if you switch the region of the 360 to Japanese, you can play it. Um, so. That's how I'll be doing runs of that. Uh, I don't know how long the game is, uh, necessarily. Uh, so this will be fun, kind of like mystery, to figure out how long this would take for a run. Um, I don't anticipate it being it being too long, but uh, it's still kind of cool that there's a game on... Like, a, an, an obscure game on a system you wouldn't think to be have a lot of stuff exclusive to Japan. Um, so yeah, Magatama is definitely one of them. Um, next up is Otogi 1 and 2. I kind of put these on the same, like, list, because, uh, they're both hack and slash games by From Software on the OG Xbox. Um, you cannot play them on 360, so you actually need an original Xbox console to play them. Uh, luckily, I have one. I just need to, like, do some cleaning and repair stuff on it to make sure it, it works, uh, and can run discs. But, yeah, I do have the means to, uh, play those, so. Once I get the- once I get them and, uh, do my casual playthrough, I will definitely, uh, be doing, uh, runs of them. Uh, after that is Lost Kingdoms, uh, 1 and 2. Uh, these are on GameCube, um, and they're kind of expensive, which at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to actually, like, run these because I would need to buy a copy um, and I don't I don't know the community's uh, rulings on this and if they don't allow it then that's fine I don't need to submit to their leaderboards it doesn't really bother me that much uh, but I'm planning to uh, set up USB loader on my Wii because uh, I have it modded and then once I do that um, I can just download the ISOs of Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2 and then I can do runs of it that way because they actually time without loads uh, they remove load times, um, so that would that would basically eliminate any advantage I would have to playing on USB loader. As far as I'm aware, um, if they do, if they for whatever reason don't allow it, that's fine. I can just do my own thing. I don't really care all that much. Um, I do want to get a really good time in both this game and Otogi One and Two, uh, so that's just kind of like. Whether or not that's world record or not doesn't really matter. I just want to. I just want to get a good time in them. Um, so next up is Chain Dive. Uh, I can technically start working on Chain Dive right now, but Chain Dive any percent specifically, it, it just requires a lot of practice. There's some really tough stages in there, and a lot of difficult stuff that you have to nail down. Um, but it's a super stylish game. Uh, big shoutouts to uh, Nyron for showing me that game and showing me the speedrun and getting me interested and wanting to learn it. Um, I might actually, now that I'm thinking about it, start <laughs> working on this sooner because uh, I have everything I need to do it and it is a really fun game. Maybe it's time to actually sit down and put in that practice. We'll see. Um, next up is uh, Shadow Tower, any percent? Uh, I just started a casual playthrough of Shadow Tower. Um, on emulator. Uh, I have a Japanese copy, uh, so I'll be doing actual runs on console, but I, I do I, I do own this game, um, and since I put a lot of time and effort into Shadow Tower Abyss and really loved that, um, I do want to try uh, Shadow Tower and its speedrun because it also looks interesting and like something I would be into. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to get to Shadow Tower any percent at some point. Um, and then next up, Shadow Tower Abyss All Bosses. Uh, I put New Game Plus at the end specifically because uh, this run would be absurdly stupid <laughs> uh, if you did it New Game. Um, it would, I don't know, it wouldn't be very fun to run. 
Um, so I'd rather do this one, New Game Plus, uh, which will be fun to get a character that's like super strong for New Game Plus uh, reasons. Um, but I'm basically done with Shadow Tower of Any Percent. Uh, I would like to do runs of it every so often, like just for fun, and maybe try and get it into a marathon, although that run in a marathon is very scary. I would need like a really high estimate because of how easy it is to die. Um, but I do, I do want to keep playing the game in some capacity, and doing an all-bosses speedrun would definitely be one of the ways to do it. Uh, it seems like it would be a lot of fun, and the routing would be unique and very interesting. Um, so after that is a Tenchu Z Any Percent uh, Hard Ninja Five. Um, this is kind of uh, basically like MGS uh, Big Boss Rank or Foxhound, um, where you have to get the highest rank possible on each mission, or just in general. Um, the actual any percent for Tenchu Z is pretty interesting too, uh, and I might do that after Hard Ninja 5, but for now, this is the one that really appeals to me because it's not super long, and it actually does feature some really cool uh, strategies. Plus, for stealth games, I just in general like doing a uh, you know, perfect stealth challenge uh, run runs. I think they're more enjoyable for me. Um, next up is D2 any percent. Uh, this is the game that I bought a Japanese Dreamcast for to run. Um, I still need to do a casual playthrough of D2. Uh, I haven't gotten around to that yet because I've been very lazy. Um, but this game and this run looks super interesting from a routing perspective. And I also just like the concept of this game, so I really want to give this run a try. Um, really isn't much more to say than that uh, on this game. Next up, uh, Deadly Premonition 80% on a Series S. Hold on one second. Okay, apologies. Um, so yeah, Deadly Premonition 80% on a Series S. Uh, I'm fairly happy with my Deadly Premonition time on Switch. Um, it can definitely go lower. Uh, like, I can lower that time by quite a lot. Uh, but putting the grind in for that, I don't know if I want to right now. Um, I actually don't want to at all. Uh, but the, the original Deadly Premonition speedrun, the very, the first one, is has not been run in a long time and uh if you do it on a series s you get a ton of time saved from loads and who knows it could potentially be faster than switch this way um i don't know for certain but with the new route and all the new optimizations that have uh, come up for this game it is possible that it could be faster uh, regardless, though, I do want to get a time for that because uh, of how long it's been since there was any activity for the original release. So, yeah. Um, next up is uh, Brave Story, any percent. Uh, I've done... I, I have already run this before, and I've done a couple runs of this in the past, but I actually want to do some more... Uh, and, like, actually get a really good time. I'm still happy with my time in this, but I do want something a little better. Um, uh, for this, I have, like, a 215, I think. Um, and it would be cool to get this lower. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I might be making a return to this at some point and actually, like, putting some focus on it. Um, this run isn't super hard. Um... But aside from the first skip in Dungeon 1, a lot of it is very, like, linear on route. And, uh, there's some weird time losses you can get from missing certain items or, like, dumb stuff happening to you in the in Dungeon 3. So, but yeah, I do want, I do want to return to this and get a lower time. I don't think it can go sub 2 hours without another big skip, um... But I do want, but I do think it can go sub 210. 
Um, so I, that would probably be my goal if I pick this back up. Um, next up is Siren 1 and 2, any percent? Uh, I've already done a couple ILs for Siren 1, and I've done a singular IL for Siren 2. Um, and I figured that since I've already done a bunch of ILs and have a lot of experience with playing the game, I might as well give learning the full game run a try. Um, so I think that's probably going to happen with Siren 1 first, and I'll see how it treats me. Um, and then if I enjoy it, I'll pick up Siren 2 any percent, because that run is also pretty interesting, and has doesn't have as much activity as Siren 1. Um, next up is a uh, LOL Lack of Love, uh, any percent. Uh, this game I really, really want to do a run of, because... I love uh, Love Deluxe Studios and all their games, um, and it would be cool to put an updated run out for this one. Um, there is a run out by Nigleria uh, that's pretty interesting, um, and I want to see what I can improve on that route that Nigleria made. Um, and then finally on planned projects is MGS3 Euro Extreme. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to come back to for a really long time. And I think I'm getting closer to being ready to doing that. Um, I don't want to take it too serious because um, this run is... It's not that it's, like, super difficult, but it just requires a lot of, like, time investment for one specific game. And I'm not looking for, like, world record in this. I'm just looking to have fun, and MGS3 is a game I like to have fun in. European Extreme is a fun category to run, so I think it just works out. Yeah, I do want to come back to this because my time from, like, all those years ago when I picked it up and was watching, like, a dumb kid and watching, like, Hikari and uh, Snake Eater and a couple other guys, like, doing segmented stuff uh, was kind of, like, inspired me to start speedrunning in general, so to actually improve upon my time from, like, 2012 or 2013 uh, would be a joy. Um, so moving on now to the potential projects, these are ones that I am interested in doing, but I'm not 100% sure, it depends on a lot of factors. Uh, first one, Demon Souls Any%. Percent. Um, I have the game, and I'm going to be starting a casual playthrough of Demon Souls soon. Uh, the problem though is that their leaderboard and timing method is like kind of fucked up. Uh, not by their, not their fault, it's the fault of the game, because they shut down the online which shut down the only way for you to see the IGT, which in turn shut down the only way for you to get loadless times, because um, the IGT did not count loads. Uh, and as everyone knows, the PS3 is an awful shitty console for uh, <laughs> load times. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a mess. Um, but if the run ends up, if the game ends up being fun and interests me enough to speedrun it, and I try it and end up enjoying it, I might take it serious. Um, but I don't think I'll be submitting to their leaderboards until there's either, like, some sort of load remover for consoles or, like, a way to time, like, using, like, a live split function to time and remove loads. Uh, so, yeah, that all depends on other things. But if, but regardless, if the run, if the game, in I enjoy it and the run interests me, I'll do runs of it. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll submit it or not because the timing systems and stuff for that is kind of messed up right now, but we'll see. Uh, next up is Thousand Land, any percent. This is a From Software uh, RTS game on the Xbox. Uh, probably not a good speedrun, probably not really much of a speedrun at all, uh, but the fact that it could be done, and that as far as I'm aware no one has done it, uh, interests me enough to want to, tr to try it, so... Uh, Maybe maybe we'll be seeing this, I don't know. This is more of like just a what if thing, like, oh, maybe maybe this will happen, who knows. Um, yeah. And then after that is a Chrome Hounds, uh, any percent. Thank you to Hoda for interesting introducing me to this. Um, this is some sort of like mech, like field, I, I don't really know how to describe it, but you're in, like, mechs, and you're in a field, and you have to do objectives and do missions and stuff. It's ba mostly a multiplayer game, but there are, like, some single-player missions that kind of are, like, tutorials, quote-unquote. 
Um, and uh, there's a bunch of different classes you can play as, and there's missions for each class. So it could be interesting to maybe pick a certain class and like do some runs of them. They're not too long. I think someone has done runs, and they're around like 20 to 30 minutes, roughly, for for a single class, which is pretty solid. So I don't know. Maybe if 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 this ends up being fun when I play it casually, um, then I'll do it. Uh, as another note to um, Magatama, Otogi, and uh, by extension, uh, Thousand Land and Chrome Hounds. Well, not really Thousand Land, but Chrome Hounds. Um, I have a 360. It's one of the older ones with the big fucking power bricks. Um, and because of my current setup being very small, I just straight up will not have room for the 360 because of that old power brick. Um, so, again, Magatama, um, uh, Thousand Land, er, Magatama, Chrome Hounds, and Tenchu Z are planned. Well, Chrome Hounds is potential, but the ones that are planned are planned for, like, a bit down the line because currently my setup does not allow me to really will not allow me to have those running. Um, so, I do want to do those, but how soon uh, is up in the air, really. Um, and then finally, uh, Enemy Zero. Uh, this one is here because I really want to play this game. I think it's interesting. And if I'm doing a run of D2 already, I might as well try Enemy Zero runs. Um, I don't know if this will be something I'll do. Because I'll need to get a Saturn. Um, and I don't have a Saturn right now. Uh, so. But yeah, that's on the... That's a potential I might do that one. At some point. It just depends on how I'm feeling and how the game feels after a casual playthrough for, for runs. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this. This is longer than I thought it would be. Um, uh, I'm hoping to get to all of these in some capacity. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. And, uh, as always, thanks for the support. Uh, just watching my streams and enjoying my speedruns and trying to showcase more strange and unique uh, games, because it's something I enjoy doing is taking the obscurities out and letting everyone see them and appreciate them because a lot of stuff that is obscure shouldn't be um, and I want more people to know about them so that's kind of what I'm doing with my Hidden Gems playthroughs and also with my, some of my speedruns including speedruns of Hidden Gems and other unknown from software type games and just unknown games in general so, so yeah uh, thanks for watching thanks for all the support Love y'all. Uh, you don't have to watch my streams of any of these, but if they interest you and you think I'm cool, you should give them a watch. So yeah, thanks. Peace.